TikTok just revealed to us how to grow in 2024. And I'm gonna break down everything in this video. The video links, the styles, the format, the sounds, the things that matter. And I'll give you the do's and don'ts along the way. Now, before I get started, I have a free community down in the description. I would love to see you in there if you're interested in growing on TikTok. Now, I actually learned most of this in mid-2023, and it's how I grew my account to over 90K while most other accounts were stagnant at the time. Because most people still think that TikTok is the short form video platform that it was from 2020 and 2021. But TikTok has made a ton of changes and they've revealed to you what you're supposed to do without actually telling you what you're supposed to do. So let me break it down. The first one is UMG Universal Music Group pulling their catalog from TikTok and TikTok letting them do it. Before this point, Trending sounds, trending audios mattered so much on this platform. You could go viral with a trending dance, a trending sound, a trending hashtag, and you could hashtag for you page viral and you would go viral in 2020 and 2021. And if you were using any sounds from UMG previous to February 1st, your videos got muted. Now the big question is why didn't TikTok renegotiate and let UMG get a better deal from TikTok? Because honestly, TikTok doesn't really care. With the direction that TikTok is currently going, they would rather have creators rely less on sounds and more on original sounds and the things that they're saying to the camera. Because this helps with original content instead of people being able to copy content and get paid for it, and I'll get to that later. But it stops that because if people go out and talk to the camera, TikTok knows right away if this is original content or if it's been posted before. Now, based on that change, here are the do's and don'ts for you growing your account. Talk on camera more, use copyright free sounds in the background, and ultimately use your original sounds rather than using the sounds on TikTok. And the don'ts, don't rely on trending sounds to grow your audience anymore. Don't let the sounds dictate your creation. Creative. Instead, have your creative dictate which sound you're gonna use. Now, the second thing is that the Creator Fund ended in late 2023. If you don't know what the Creator Fund is, it was a fund for short form video, way less than one minute, of course. It would pay you somewhere between one cent and two cents per 1,000 views. Now, 99% of creators on the app could not make a living with those kind of RPMs, and it made that Creator Fund almost a joke for creators. Now, this was replaced with the beta creativity program instead. Now, this meant that you could only get paid on videos that were longer than one minute, videos that met the original criteria as well as meeting the fair use requirements, and they weren't already posted somewhere else online. This means that more creators would have to make longer form content and could no longer get away with the quick witty videos or the trending viral videos that were seven seconds, perhaps had some words over the top and just would sit there and replay over and over and over again. It also meant that you can't just repost your best videos from other platforms and expect to get paid Paid for it. Instead, they give you an unoriginal, low quality guideline strike. So ultimately, what is TikTok revealing to you with this move? They want you to create content specifically for the TikTok app and not have it be a platform where you just repost your content. And they're also hinting that the creators that can create longer form video are the ones that are going to monetize better on this platform. So the do's, create talking head videos that are longer than one minute. The don'ts, don't make short, unoriginal, static videos or repost from other platforms. Now, the third thing that TikTok did was introduce landscape videos, horizontal videos to the platform. This means horizontal videos, just like YouTube, sets themselves as a way to go ahead and compete with YouTube in the future. Not only that, people that got a notification also were able to boost their views for free if they went ahead and posted landscape videos to their account. Now, there are some other requirements as well. They had to be one minute, they had to be original and other things, but they are really pushing this landscape video, especially if you got that notification. They don't actually make it very easy for you to be able to do this inside of the app. And so it's much easier to shoot landscape videos outside of the app. And so if you wanna go ahead and do it with your phone, you would just and shoot in the horizontal format. When you take it into CapCut or your favorite editor, you go ahead and just make sure it's in the 16 by nine aspect ratio and TikTok will do the rest when you go ahead and upload. Now, now, one of the reasons that they're pushing this landscape video is because of the advertising aspects that it could bring to TikTok. YouTube has mid-roll, pre-roll, five-second skip ads, and way more choices for advertisers to choose on the platform. TikTok wants those same things as well as a way to attribute who they should be paying creator fund money to. Because when you have a short video and you're scrolling through the feed, they don't know who to attribute that money to and who's keeping people on the app. When you have a long-form video, you're able to know exactly who is getting people 
people to stay on the app and who they should pay for those efforts. Now, the one big gripe that people have already talked about on TikTok, and I actually agree with this as well, is that there's a really big disconnect with the videos that are horizontal and the videos that are vertical on the For You page. When you're scrolling through the For You page, the horizontal videos stand out like a sore thumb. And what most people do is just swipe and they don't even give them a chance. And I'm sure TikTok has heard this already and they're pretty smart and they know what they're doing. My guess is that they will create a new tab for this and perhaps have some sort of discovery or search bar available. And if they do that, they really will give YouTube a run for their money. Here's what to do. Experiment with horizontal video on TikTok because they are naturally pushing it currently. Don't expect TikTok to go back to short videos or don't expect to make the most amount of money possible on TikTok coming in the future if you don't accept landscape. Now, the fourth thing that TikTok has done is they have pushed heavily on longer live streams. Now, the reason that they did this is because they love the authentic interactions that TikTok Live produces. This also gives the creators a chance to build a community instead of just build a following. And they have pushed creators to do this in a variety of ways. One of the ways that they have increased the ways that you can make money on live. Not only are you able to get gifts, but you can also get subscribers and hold subscriber only lives, use the battle feature and way more. They're also knowingly giving you more views on your videos that are posted on your account if you go live because the videos that are on your account already are hitting the For You page. It's causing the profile picture on your account to flash when people see those videos on the For You page. And so it's another way that TikTok brings traffic to your account and your live stream. And so if your live is already hitting the For You page and your videos are also hitting the For You page with the blinking profile, you're going to get more views naturally on your videos because it's another form that TikTok pushes out your live. And finally, they're giving you new audience reach this way as well. So what does this mean for you on TikTok? The do's, you should go live several times a week on TikTok. Specifically, you should go live right around the time that you post. As soon as you post right after, go ahead and go live for 30 to 90 minutes a few times a week and you will see improvements in your views and your new audiences. Don't sit around and let this pass you by because you don't know what to talk about or because you're anxious. Believe me, you can do this. Now, with all that being said, TikTok is not actually giving up on six second videos because people don't like them. They're giving up on short videos because of Amazon and Instagram and YouTube and Facebook. Let me explain. The reason that Reels and Shorts can do things the way that they do them with a creator fund still is because they have the backing of Meta and they have the backing of Google. Even if they don't get people to monetize as much on the short form videos on their platform, that's TikTok's bread and butter. And in fact, this was the exact same position that Vine was in before it collapsed. Vine had massive attention, but it had no good way to pay creators or to get other companies to buy ads on their platform. And to this day, no short form video platform has ever solved this problem. TikTok had no other choice but to make longer videos as well as push TikTok shop. Now, everybody thinks that TikTok has an identity crisis because they're, they're doing landscape videos, they're doing shop, but they're not doing this because they want to. They're doing this because they have to. So overall, here's the blueprint of exactly how to win in 2024 and 2025 on TikTok. Make longer videos, talk to the camera, optimize your search engine optimization, which means hashtags, your caption, your captions, build an actual community with lives and stories. Understand that videos now have a longer shelf life on TikTok than they did before. So quality Quality is going to matter rather than quantity. Understand the power of horizontal videos that's coming soon and realize that they're going to be pushing shop because they want to compete with Amazon. Now that TikTok's plan is in plain sight, what are you going to do with it?